So here we're going to be looking at footprint enhancement. We see a great example of that here. We have sequential chemical enhancement of footwear impressions in blood on white polyester using luminol, neohydrin, and acid black one. So this kind of gives you an idea of how we can enhance or change that kind of uh, footprint to be able to show certain characteristics. So However, when we're looking at enhancement in general, one word of caution is that we want to be careful with any enhancement methods that we might be implementing. Why? Because these may damage the original prints, which can lead to destruction of evidence and possible disqualification from being used in court. Here we have an original photograph, here we have an enhanced one, uh, at a certain point of where's the line of over enhancing something. So again, just word of caution, only use this if you need to. Don't use this as a default method. So post initial um, photography methods, so if a footprint is made in blood, color changing reagents can help visualize the prints. These can be physical methods such as latent powder, lifting impressions, or impressions on paper. A lot of these are found in easy to carry kits uh, to a crime scene. We also have dusting for footprints. So just like we would dust for fingerprints, the same can be applied to footprints. And you can use the same powder even. Fingerprint powder can be uh, visualized prints using the same basic procedures as you would for fingerprints, lifted with adhesive or gelatin, and photographed then to be included as evidence. So something that may initially be really hard to see, you can kind of see it sort of kind of, with that, ev with that adding of fingerprint powder, it becomes much clearer. We also have something called electrostatic lifting, which is an, an aggressive technique to recover impressions, typically used on hard surfaces such as tile or wood. There's basically a charge used to lift dry materials from a surface to a black film. This lift will provide more contrast and is non-destructive, and then it can be photographed and entered as evidence. Placards or markers are used to document locations of impressions. If possible, remove and transport those impressions. Those electrostatic dust print lifting devices operate by charging a plastic film placed over a dustpan, which creates electrostatic adhesions into a film surface showing the print. Now casting of prints, this is kind of simple, um, requires a little bit of a kind of carrying of this bulk material, uh, but it can pick up really, it can pick up detail very well. The material is very durable, this casting, and it can be cast after its photographs. So you should always take photographs first, then make a cast, and if you want to, take photographs after. Typically, this casting material is kind of a basis of some sort of dental stone because it allows uh, a really strong structure to be made, but allows also the retaining of certain details. End products can be sprayed with colorized wax to aid in highlighting those prints. Now, impression enhancements. So, poor impressions can um, sometimes are made and may have to be enhanced by the following means. So, initially, it might be really hard to see the details, so you can offer some of these enhancements, particularly for the uh, purpose of photography. Um, oblique, ultraviolet, infrared, or other special methods can be used. Here we see kind of a snow print simply using a coloration to create a greater contrast can really help provide an exposure to some of those details that can be more easily photographed. Now chemical enhancement methods Looking at chemical enhancement reagents such as crystal violet, luminol, dehydrin may also be used. We saw this on the title slide, um, the difference you can get with these certain chemical enhancement methods. Then we also have digital enhancement. Uh, software such as like Photoshop can be used to enhance uh, impressions, but remember there is a fine line between overdoing the enhancement. Here we see a woman in the woods, we see kind of left and a right, we see that kind of enhancement of color. Here we see probably a Photoshop that's gone a little too far. So again, keep in mind that digital enhancement methods should only be used if absolutely necessary and kind of as a last resort because it could eliminate them from being included as evidence in a court setting.